So as most of you know, Apple has went ahead and released their new 14 inch MacBooks and I'm a huge fan of them. I actually do think they bring a lot of capability. There's some funny weird things with these MacBooks on them that I really just don't understand why Apple did. But I will tell you the performance segment of this specific MacBook is actually really, really good as most of you may suspect. And I'm going to be honest for a lot of gamers out there. <laughs> And for people who already game on a Mac, which may sound super crazy, yes, there's gamers, I'm sure, out there, this device can really handle a lot of different games that I threw at it, which is pretty impressive. Now, to give you some perspective, I'm not a gamer at all. I don't claim to be. I'm just literally just a guy who just buys these things and makes videos every once in a while. But the thing is, I have like a list of games that I usually test whenever I buy a MacBook. I've tested and bought most MacBooks now. And the thing is, with this specific MacBook, the 14-inch one, all of the games that I threw at it, it handled perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, unfortunately, some games that I tested through Steam did not work, which I was pretty upset about. They needed like 30, so I don't really understand why that happened. But I will tell you, the games that I was able to get on it, some Asphalt games, there were a lot of iPhone and iPad games that I went ahead and just installed on this thing that actually worked completely fine. The frame rates and everything were so smooth, it wasn't even funny. But I also did some emulation tests on this too. You know, I downloaded the Dolphin emulator and I played some Wii games, some GameCube games, and the games ran much better than I thought. And I've had, you know, the M1 MacBook Pro and I did the same thing there and it was pretty much the same results. But for this specific MacBook to already be this good is pretty insane. And what I mean by that is this device is on its pretty much first software that it came out with. And we are, it just came out. Most MacBooks and devices that come out typically have a lot of performance issues right at the gate. Apps crashing, it's not stable, this and that. This MacBook has been extremely stable since I bought it. And like I mentioned, Every single thing I threw at it, it's been handling perfectly fine. And this is the cheapest 14 inch MacBook. This isn't even the one that has like, I think the 10 core or whatever. I think these are the eight core CPU and GPUs or eight core CPU, 10 core GPU, something like that. And that's actually really impressive. So if you're planning on getting a MacBook like this and you're planning on playing a bunch of games and everything, this is going to be able to handle you extremely well. Now, the other thing to keep in mind with the specific MacBook is the overheating. One thing that Apple stated is that, you know, the best thing or one of the best things about the M1 Pro and M1 Max chipset is that it's not going to ramp up the fans as much. It's not going to be super crazy anymore. And I'm going to tell you with these MacBooks, I did not hear the fans ramp up one time for me actually going ahead and using this specific MacBook. And that is a really, really cool thing. Like I mentioned, when you get a MacBook like this, you don't want the fans to be ramping up every 10 seconds. And that was something that I experienced on a ton of other MacBooks throughout my life. And I wasn't a fan of it. My iMac as well, you know, I had a 5K iMac and I was pretty much experiencing the same exact thing as well. In this specific case, you know, with the M1 MacBook Pro, the 14 inch one, even the 16 inch one, obviously, these things did not ramp up the fans on any of the games that I tested. But on top of that, it didn't even really overheat. It, it was warm to the touch for sure after about 10 to 20 minutes of playing. So I would say like 15, 20 minutes of gameplay. It was, it wasn't like uncomfortably hot, but it was probably like, you know, a little bit hotter than usual. And I think that was totally fine. Like I mentioned, any MacBook that I had before, even the Intel ones, as soon as you do something, especially my 16 inch MacBook, the Intel one from a couple years ago, even that one, you do anything with it. If you touch it, it'll start, you know, ramping up the fans. It was very annoying. I wasn't a fan of it. These ones, I will tell you, if you're planning on gaming on your MacBook and you're planning on doing a bunch of crazy things with that ProMotion display, it had so much more capability for the games that support it, but also games that don't support it are going to run at extremely smooth frame rates because of that chipset inside of it. So it's really amazing across the board. It doesn't overheat your computer when you're gaming. It doesn't ramp up the fans like crazy and the performance is really good. And if that ProMotion display is supported on those games, which it's only a matter of time before a ton of them support it. It's just a win-win in my opinion. So like I mentioned, I'm not a gamer, but those are some things that I saw even just from the few games that I played. So in terms of that, that covers it up here. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.